Hey guys, in this video, I want to talk about the uh, Android 5.0.1 official update for the Samsung Galaxy S4. Uh, now, this is actually a leaked firmware that uh, we have similar on the Note 3 uh, that was leaked a couple of days ago. So, this is also a leaked firmware, but it is official from Samsung with all the Samsung goodies. Now, uh, I cannot install it on my Galaxy S4 because my Galaxy S4 is i9-505. Now, this one is available for GDI9500, GDI9502, uh, GDI9508, and the GDI9508V. So, they, have, uh, they haven't uh, leaked it for the uh, GDI9505, which is the Snapdragon 600 variant. Now, you can see these images. It looks pretty much neat. We have that white, white, uh, light uh, blue theme in the notification panel. And then also we have the white uh, background, a little bit neat, uh, clean look in the settings and all that. Uh, you can see that. And also they have also posted up uh, its uh, uh, benchmark score. So it is uh, scoring 33,055 score, uh, which is uh, pretty good actually. Uh, so, uh, but this is for the i9500, so I can't really install it so that's a pretty sad thing uh, but anyways uh, this is uh, for uh, uh, of course uh, for installation and all that uh, you best visit the link in the description down below and also uh, if you want to know how to install it so first uh, you need to uh, open up the Auden and uh, then connect your Galaxy S4 and uh, then uh, uh, download the uh, files, of course, uh, the required firmware, and extract the firmware, and then uh, uh, connect your Galaxy S4 to your laptop in the download mode uh, while the audience is open, and then click on the PDA, and then uh, browse for the extracted firmware, and then select it and update it, and this is going to update your Galaxy S4 pretty easily on uh, the Android 5.0.1. Now, basically, you don't need root to do this, uh, I can't really show you because, of course, i9-505, uh, when it is going to be available for the i9-505, I'll make a video about that. And also, you have to first check out the model number of your device, go into the settings, and then uh, go about device and check the model number. If you are using the i9-500, you can update it uh, right now. And uh, meanwhile, you can take a look at these uh, screenshots. And then also, um, if you want to wait, then you can wait because this is actually the leaked firmware. And uh, if you want to try it, you can try it because uh, you can make an Android backup uh, before trying it because if uh, just in case something goes wrong. So you can uh, just get back to the, your previous um, ROM. And so this will going to be a, a leaked or test, uh, you know, build. It's not going to be the full official one, so you have to wait for it. So uh, this leaked firmware shows that uh, Samsung is pretty close to, uh, you know, sending this firmware officially to the world, of course. And uh, I'll be download, downloading it for my Galaxy S4 when it will going to be available officially. So this is the leaked one. If you want to install it, make an Android backup before, and uh, then, uh, then proceed with this uh, procedure and then also uh, download this from the link in the description XDL link is down below and uh, pretty fast downloading speed if you want to download it so i9505 bad luck for other it is available so thank you so much for checking out this video a quick look at these leaked screenshots and I'll see you next one peace out and subscribe